seen over and over again, making commercial platforms more usable. Call 866-224-5422. Toll free 866-224-5422. Amp2.tv, the first and only internet television network that's truly plugged in. 866-224-5422. That's A-M-P, the number two, dot TV. Now you can get Talk 1470 WNN on 95.3 FM, too. Loud and clear, Health and Wealth Radio, WNN. Ah, rough day. You have no idea. Let's Let's talk talk about about it. it. Hello, everybody. We are the two boards from Boca, and we are on the air live, coming to you from happy, 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 happy Labor Day. You know, I always confuse Memorial Day and Labor Day. I'm Dr. Amy Schreiber. And I'm this Laurie Ann Riolo. Happy my, Labor Day. My lovely co-host. Um, listen, we got a lot to talk about tonight. Lots and lots and lots. First, let's get let's get our friends of the Girl Scouts out there. Tonight yes. is your last night to get those tickets for your luncheon. Um, and we are um, sp- we are one of many sponsors that are sponsoring the Girl Scout um, of Southeast Florida's event called Girl Scouts Lead the Way, honoring women who are leaders in their industries and serve as role models in the community. Um, so today is your last day to get tickets. So please go to our Facebook page and get um, the link. And you can get your tickets there. I don't think you can call because no one's there because we're the only people working. <laughs> That's so. true. That is that. Um, we need to talk a little bit about the Texas Hurricane Harvey situation. Um, those poor people, which we may be those poor people soon, which is not funny. Hopefully not. Um, hopefully not. But um, right oh, now, it's terrible. What's going on? It's horrible. Instance. But they're they're doing it, which is great. Um, uh, Lorian and I were talking um, on Friday when we had our pre-production meeting about the pet situation um, and a lot of people are very torn up because they can't find their pets or they have no way to keep their pets while they are recovering from the, the uh, hurricane. So um, for those of you who have loved ones in Texas, Austin Pet Pets Alive, it's a no-kill shelter and it is, um, they're all over it. They're fostering animals as well as holding animals. Um, uh, for safety, you can go to austinpetsalive.org. Also, the SPCA of Texas are rescuing and looking for foster homes for animals. If you can help a foster, please call, uh, go to uh, www.spca.org slash backslash uh, foster to donate or to help. You can also call 214-742-7722. I also um, saw that they were um, shipping, you know, actually flying and driving absolutely. a lot of pets. Supplies and, and stuff like placing that. placing them all over the country um, in different cities that can yes. uh, have adoption. Absolutely. And, right. They'll, take, they'll bring them to you. Um, right. Just try and see if you can help. Also, uh, Lorian, tell them about our local businesses. Oh, so also, Frank and Dino's, which is located in Boca Raton, uh, started yesterday, Sunday, actually. Uh, If you dine in the restaurant, 20% of their proceeds will go to the Hurricane Harvey victims. And also, Harvest Seasonal Grill, which is located in Delray Beach, uh, Saturday, September 9th, which is this upcoming Saturday, they are doing, and I believe theirs is more of a percentage. I forgot what the percentage is. I want to say 80, but don't don't quote me on that. But it is Saturday night that if you go in there, um, you can help the Hurricane Harvey victims. There you go. And you need to do that. And eat healthy at the same time. Uh, That's correct. Um, We have a situation with Irma and a history with eye hurricanes, apparently. I'm new to the eye hurricane situation. I was fortunate enough to be here for Wilma, and that was really enough for me. Um, But... It's a very tense time here in South Florida because we don't know what's going on and people are very panic stricken. Today, Lorian and I both experienced <laughs> the situations where the wrath of the preparation for the hurricane. Be kind to each other. It's 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 a tense time. You know, and there's if, no reason to fight over right, water. If you're going to get water, you know what? Split it. If it's the last one left, split it. Well, I saw people. It. I mean, there were people Go to that Amazon were being and egregious order about water. it. They were taking like 10 cases. Yeah. Oh, you know, and then there's somebody one, that said, I don't have any. And, right. You know, give... 
your help neighbor. each other. You know, at the end of the day, if this thing <laughs> comes like they say it's coming, we're all going to have to help each other. Exactly. And that, that's the point. So I want you guys to like take it down a notch. I'm nervous. Trust me. No one is more nervous than me. Just take it down a notch, help each other out, and we'll get through this. We will really get through this. Yeah, it's a lot easier when everyone is a little calm. Yeah, I mean, a it's calm, still a, little a week away. Kind, and kindness goes a long way. Right. Now, I got to go crazy. Okay? Um, as all of you know, I am a doctor of nursing practice. And um, the all of you who, if you're not living under a rock, like Patrick from SpongeBob, then you had to had have seen the video of the nurse um, mm -hmm. Alex Wubbles mm -hmm. from Utah in the emergency room. That was crazy. Let me just say this: I have been a nurse for thirty three years. I have worked primarily most of my career in tertiary hospitals in inner cities, and both sides of the fence: a lot of victims, a lot of criminals. I've worked with policemen hand in hand. I've taken care of policemen um, when they are them at their most vulnerable. I will honestly tell you, I have not once in 33 years had a bad policeman experience. Ever. Not ever. I dated a few, well, too. Yeah, like I you add. said, they're together a lot. Right. They're I mean, together. They wear like hand so. and glove. And it's a very mutually respectful and depending relationship. What went on in that emergency room was beyond contempt. It was totally inappropriate. And a lot of... I've talked to a jillion people, my husband included, and who's a physician... And my the situation is, is this nurse was in a situation where she was following a protocol right. and she was protecting a patient. And the officer got angry because he didn't get what he needed, which was blood, which would not have been admissible in court anyway because it would, be, would have been taken illegally. And he spun her around, threw her up against the wall and handcuffed her. Well, doing she was very job. clear. She said, bring me a warrant right. and then I will The patient the had no warrant. Right. The patient was not patient under arrest. Was unconscious. However, the patient was unconscious. So it would have been illegal for him to take blood. If the hospital wanted to take blood, that's fine. But as for HIPAA regulations, they could not share that information. Um, and she was manhandled. It was totally out of line. It was totally inappropriate. And just like there are bad nurses and bad doctors mm -hmm. and bad pharmacists and right. bad hair dressers there's bad cops too um but the issue comes up what would have happened if that was a man who did the same thing i'm not sure the scenario would have been the same i'm not sure if it would have been worse where there would have been a pain contest of who was you know more macho or more manly um but i just want you to know what we do as nurses is invaluable and it's, if you think it's your doctor that's saving you behind every day when you're in the hospital, you need to think again because we're there for 12 hours. They're in and out in five minutes. So without us, you don't get better. And, and to minimize what happened to her, not a chance. So she's my hero of the week. And I just want to tell you, Alex, you did a good job. You maintained your cool and you did the right thing toward your patient. So... That's the end of my sermon for today. I'm off the soapbox. It's it. I'm very casual today. Lorian could wear a napkin and always look beautiful. So oh, I just know, yeah. it's true. I just don't understand. The girl always looks together. <laughs> and I always look like an untied show. But, um, yeah, so, so let's get on to more fun topics. Yes, we are. Our topic I do today. like your blouse, though. It's Thank very you. fun. It's very... Well, according to a lot of... Uh, Post I keep seeing on Facebook. It's the last time you could ever wear white. So, yeah, I know. Which I think it's ridiculous because we live in Florida anyway, and who cares? I don't, what agree the with that, I don't like the rules. You wear what you want to wear. Is how I see it. Yes. I mean. So now let's talk about something I know nothing about anymore. I like to flirt, Dating. Though, but I love I love when I like setting people up. My friend Blake, love you. I love you. I'm getting but married yet. One, don't worry uh, about it. And I and it's it's funny that we decided to talk tonight about dating ideas whether it's a first date whether you've been dating a few months whether you've been dating married with with the significant dating other while you're married. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say that uh but even if it's been years and years and years you still want to always keep things fresh and alive and fun i agree and we went out with a couple last night actually oh nice and she said, you know, I don't want to always just go to dinner. Let's, do, let's change it up, do something fun. So we did the escape room. Isn't that the best? I love. Wasn't it fun? I love. This was my second time did you get doing out? the escape room. We got out with you three minutes and 30 seconds to spare. You did it, girl. And you know what? It's very difficult 
but it really gets it's so the hour goes by like that it does and everybody what i loved about it is you're in there with other people you don't know right. and everybody's working together there's no time to think about anything else no, it's just it's you're fun. all working towards a common goal to get out of the room and it was a blast it is it's so much fun so you laugh a lot. those of you you haven't done it yet they're all over they're almost in every city oh, there's yeah. a few in every city i did the one in boca but they're all over they all have to the one in boca has four different rooms it's a great dating idea especially i think in the beginning like maybe if things are a little awkward and you, you yeah, know and then you can figure out if he's intelligent enough to get you out of an emergency <laughs> situation <laughs> very true it's true no i think you, I, you make an excellent point because that's all you're concentrating on in an hour. So you learn a lot about a person, their communication skills, their ability to cope under stress, under pressure. How they treat other people how, under exactly. pressure. Exactly. So that's a and really good And then when you day. go to dinner afterwards, if you decide you to go to dinner, you have it. something to talk exactly. about. Exactly. And you don't so, feel like... I thought that was a really, really good but idea. But I think the whole idea of dating anyway is, like the, particularly the first date, is all about conversation and bonding. You know, and that's a great way to converse and work together and bond with the person. You know, if you, you know, there's a little tear in the model bay, you're like, this is it, I'm done. I can't wait to see you. you going to get out that of that room. Exactly. But I think that that's important. But um, a couple of the other funny ones that we found yes. on some sites, of course, I added in my own, like, Naked Twister I always loved. She that's likes fun. Naked Twister. I love Naked I was Twister. very surprised at that. Yeah, you were. Yes. Why? I don't know. No, like in a good way, surprise, not in a bad way. Uh, and they were... Um, I like naked toys. The <laughs> Sex Toy Stores was on there, which I think is funny. And they were saying that one of the most inappropriate places to flirt with somebody is in a sex toy store. And I'm like, We both why? said, why? And I don't think so either. Why? I think it's fine. Because you have that in common. Well, if you you're both have in sex, sex store. it up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the whole goal, right? I think... I think... There was one thing that I thought was really, really funny. They had said, go to a flea market. I was like, ew. No, but they said you can shop, know. eat, drink, well, and talk. you know talk. what? Everybody has different interests. Like, there's people that love thrifting and those types of things. So, if, if well, antiquing, two people I guess. are into that, then yeah, yes, that would be a great is, yeah. date. I always like to go. Noah and I, like, one of our first dates, we did, like, a road trip. And we decided to just take a... It was, like, our third date, and we went to D.C. Um, See, that's For the nice. day. And we went to see a hockey game. We walked around D.C. Well, if you live up north, you have a better shot of doing something like that. True. Florida, you got to go through the whole boring it, state. That's true. Yeah. It's all flat. But in that area, but you know yes. Is nice? I like going down to Miami to the to um, Bayside. Oh, yeah. And taking one of those little like, tourist nice. boats. Mm -hmm. That's a fun hour it and a half. It is fun. It's something different. And you have all those I little agree. shops down there. You know, we have local stuff that you can do. Delray is always fun to walk around. Um. Skinny dipping was another. Yes, you like that. She likes to be naked, everyone. <laughs> Just saying. She enjoys the Take naked. a dance class. That That's not naked. See, I can do You it can dance that. naked, though. That's uh. an interesting dance class. <laughs> This was a funny one. Explore a neighborhood you don't know. Yeah, well, that depends Let's on where you live. Let's be a little cautious on that. Yeah, you have to be a little careful. But imagine, like, I would love to go, like, let's see, what's a really cool neighborhood? Besides Delray and so like, 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 I would go to a really, like, poo-poo neighborhood without a gate. Like, you can get into, like, you know, some neighborhoods without a gate. And, just, and what are you going to do? I would go swim in the their house, pool? Swim in their pool, <laughs> naked. If it's boarded up, you know they're not there, yeah, you exactly. can swim in their pool. <laughs> no, I think, that, no, I think that's cool. Like, a whole, like down in Miami, too, there's so many places to explore and stuff like that. I think that that would be cool. I don't know. What do you guys like to do? One eight 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 five six five fourteen seven. Keeping it fresh, keeping it sexy. Or leave us comments on Facebook, Yeah, or leave us too. comments. You don't have to talk. Um... Camping was on there, but... Oh. oh, come on. Glamping. Glamping I would do. I've never done. I've never I know people glamped. who have, but camping, absolutely I don't think not. I want to stay on the ground. But I would I would like yeah, to go to the beach at night. You the know, beach and, is beautiful. That's a great day. Have you could do a little time. picnic on the yeah, beach. Yeah, like at sunset and then get naked. No, Get I massages I mean. was another one. I don't know if I would want to do that on a first date, though. No, I don't know about that either, but... I'm not sure. That is a nice one. You could do a couple's massage. Laser tack. <laughs> that could be like escape roomish. That could be fun. It could be fun. It with the right... I mean, it, it, you know, it depends on the person you're with. I True. Mean, but then there's a lot of other things in that venue, like mini golf, bowling, karaoke. 
um, I would never sing here. Yeah, Runaway. I don't know about karaoke. Horseback but... riding. Do you like horses? I'm afraid oh, Rachel, of them. Oh, uh, Rachel. Sorry, I don't want I terrible with people's last names. To back neck. She said, go to a brewery, cooking school, ropes course. Oh, yes. ropes course is fun. Cooking class is a great idea. I've done that before. We've, uh, Peter and I have done that with other couples. I like that. And it really is fun. You know, it's it's a nice night What's out. What's a ropes course? You're tying each other up? <laughs> And enjoy them, I think. There you go. Is that what it that is? That could be fun, too. I know, but I think she's ahead. talking about the one where you stand up on the... You know, you? certain areas in, like, central Florida where they, they strap you up and you walk across the ropes. You have the helmet on. Oh, nice. and It's more of a trusting... I gotta be honest with you. It's an idea. Yeah. Um, playing billiards and pool, says Linda Barardo. Yes, definitely. I I'd love to play pool. That's fun. Yeah, pool is fun. And pool can be very sexy. This is my phone again. Pool can be very sexy because the guy's behind you. He's trying to teach you how to do a shot, you know, and he's up against you. Yeah. I like that. I like that one. These are great See, ideas. Molly loves your outfit, too. I like it, oh, too. Oh, thank you, Molly. There you go. Um, Get it on in your car was number three on the list that I found. I love that. No, I'm wait. So okay, I'm that. sorry. I like it. What kind of car are we talking about here? Nice car. <laughs> Go in the pit. No, but, no, but you know what? I don't. I don't. No one's going in the Pinto. You can't even. You can't breathe in the Pinto. But I think. I think it could be very romantic if you're at the beach. Because well, it's a, kind of like that element of getting caught. caught and being young. You know, if you're a little older, like me, who's a thousand, that's very nice. You know, when you. It's reminiscent of being young again, and I think that that's fun. And the whole idea of getting see, it's again, Laurie with the naked theme um, <laughs> in public. But I don't think ask that, what site I was yeah. on. So. No, I think that that's really, really cool. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Ice like skating it. was another one. Which I don't ice fun. skate. I'm uh, scared. Hiking, we don't have anything around here like that. But even yoga, I have to tell you, yoga, it would be a really nice date. Just because you're very relaxed when you come out. You know, and it yeah, kind know, of like all your stress of the day and everything. I have you to. I don't know if I. I have to go. maybe disagree with that. And let me tell you why. <clears throat> One, if you're not a coordinated person, you could be very intimidated. Okay. But they have to have all different levels. And I wouldn't then, go yeah, take an advanced I've heard level, stories but. that people pass gas while they're in yoga. <laughs> I would totally the hot that. yoga or the hot, hot yoga. Hot yoga. Hot yoga. Hot yoga. I don't know if I would want to do that. I don't know. Who's who is Rachel? I like her. Yeah. Oh, she's got a lot of good ideas. Go line dancing at Roundup. What's Roundup? I don't know, but I, I would go with her because she wears white line all year long. Line dancing is fun. I'd have to get my cowboy Rachel, boots out of the closet. Rachel, you wear white all year long and you want to be set up. We can do that. Message me, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Message me. You we are Cupid that. over there. I do. I have the whole Cupid <clears throat> thing going on. I love... I love love. I think love is so important. Well, it is. And, and I think it's so and nice it's important when you to change it up because you do get bored. Oh it, everyone can get bored. It's How many not... times can you go to dinner? I know. Really? Or the movies. Yeah. You know, and there's not that many good movies out. Dinner's nice, but like... What about the ones that go disastrous, though? Oh, I've had many of those. I think that... I think a lot of times, though, women take it on as them. it's their fault. And it's just, you know, it doesn't work. It just if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But the disaster ones are hard to shake it off. They are some. Well, of a lot of these could be. I mean, I think anything can always go wrong. But your likelihood of of doing some of these other these rambunctious ones like horseback riding. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would do that. I think you have to just keep it easy and light before you go and do something that somebody could get hurt. You know, and you know what was really cool? There was one of the ideas was breakfast before work. Oh. Meet for breakfast because you're you're not it's not a you, it's a time constraint thing, you know you you know everybody has to go somewhere unless he doesn't have There's a an job. There's an exit plan, yeah. <laughs> but there is an exit plan, which is nice. And if it went really well, you can have lunch instead of calling your texting your girlfriend from the table and saying, say, "Call me in five me. minutes, and exactly. save me from what this bad date." What have been some of the things that happened to you that you had to get out on a date? I just left at one point and said I was going to the bathroom and never came back, and I um. I walked home. Thank God it was only three miles from my house, but I walked home one night. Oh, yeah, that was bad. I couldn't imagine that. That's just oh. terrible. Yeah. Please call in with your ideas. 888-565-1470. Yeah. Any dates that have gone wrong? We'd like to hear those funny stories, too. I had one guy um, on a date tell me that 
Well, I had one guy that I dated for eight consecutive weeks, eight Saturdays in a row. On week four, he took me home to his parents. So I was like, this is great. You know, this is going to be great. And oh, that's fast forward. It was very fast forward. I was like, and he was really nice, re- nice looking fella. But then the antenna went up when I went into his apartment. Because the first thing was that I, I saw was his dining room table was completely set with a service of aid of China and a big golden swan in the middle of it. And then I looked to the right and he had a blue leather couch. But like not navy blue, it was royal like, blue. like a royal blue. I was like, something's wrong here. <laughs> and it was really clean. So, you know, you start doing, oh, do you have somebody that comes clean? No, I take care of myself. Your mother doesn't come here? No. I'm like, I got to get out of this situation. So I dated four more weeks, and then um, he had called me up on my birthday and said, um, I can't do this anymore. I'm like, do what? And we weren't even, you know, intimate or anything yet, which was also odd. He didn't, like, try. And um, he's like, I just can't do this anymore. So I think he... he was playing for the other team and was trying. <laughs> for the, I, that's what, that was going to be my guess. Yeah, he's, so. I think, but and which is there's no. I don't have a problem with that, but I didn't want to be like. So what pretend. is that? That he was testing the waters to see. No, like, I think maybe he was. Pro- no, maybe his parents were pushing him to have a nice oh, Italian girl. And, so he tried, and he met me. But I kind of looked like a boy then too, which made me even more. Oh, that's when he had the short hair. hair. So I don't know. Perhaps that was the attraction all along. <laughs> Yeah, but that was an odd date. That was Blake. I would never do that to you. I would date you the whole time. I would stalk you. Let's be honest. <laughs> I You're would, ready. I would totally stalk you. You're him. ready. I would totally stalk him. He's girl. Two weeks he's in a, so cute. Two weeks in a row. Oh my god. I know. We got to get rid of Kenny. We got to kill Kenny. <laughs> like on South Park, <laughs> we have to kill Kenny. <laughs> Yeah, now it's on the air. People, if something happens to Kenny, well, they're going to blame me. Well, apparently you said you have the magic touch. You're like Cupid. I did. I have set up five people, and five people have stayed married for um, thirty up to 30 That's years. That's great. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty good at it. So you have a, like a sixth sense. I do, I do. Unfortunately, the, the one of the, f- of the five that I set up after 30 years, he decided to... Step out of the marriage. Didn't yeah. tell anybody, but that was you know that's not my fault. Thirty years is a pretty that's, good thing. Yeah, long time. Girls, you got to meet Blake. He's so cute. Eight 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 five six five four. He's gonna seven. kill you. He is. I am telling you right now, and I tell you this all the time because it's true. If I was twenty years younger, you would be so you'd be crying right now because you'd be out shopping for the ring for my birthday, which is Thursday. You'd be getting the ring. That's it. You would, and I would even take the Cracker Jack box ring from you because you're so cute. He is. I love my Blakey. Blakey, you're in trouble. But you, you know, he's so cute. It, uh, somebody's calling us. I think. Are we? Maybe we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but it's an interesting. Thing. I think. What makes you attracted to a man or a woman? That's an interesting thing. Like, what? Do you ever meet somebody who is heinous in uh, most people's eyes? Like, not attractive woman, not an attractive That's man. That's why a lot of romances happen in the workplace. Because maybe right away when you see the person, you're not really, like, you're not physically attracted to him or her. But over time, you develop that friendship and relationship and you start to see them in a different light. And the attraction can come in a lot of different ways. We have a phone call from Peter. A oh. Peter. Peter, are you on the air? Yes. How can I help you, Peter? So why would you be talking about dating three days before we're getting married? <laughs> <laughs> Because we don't, we don't have an audience that just is married. We have an audience that's been divorced or still single, and that's what we decided that we yeah, were going to talk about. Yeah, but you still court me, baby. So, see, yes, see it's all these nice ideas. Quarter. I talked about our fabulous date last night at the it's escape what? room. I enjoy that. I enjoy that you court her. I think that's really cool. Now, I just get like, hey, let's go inside. That's what I get. <laughs> That's all I get. I'm like, come hey. on, let's go inside. Hey. We're so excited. Let me just say this, Peter. My birthday's Thursday. Noah's taking me out Saturday. A hurricane is coming. There you go. That's, I don't want to. We to can't say. jinx this hurricane. We got to leave. <laughs> Wednesday and Thursday, we're you're leaving. Leave. I mean, come on. No, you're going to leave. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yes, um, Lorian will be getting married. <laughs> During the hurricane. <laughs> During the hurricane. Her, her dress well, that, will be blowing. It'll be a photo no, no, no. I mean, I'll be on the other side of the country. I just want to get there. You will. I promise you, you will. I promise, I promise Good vibes you. and good vibes. I only have good vibes. I only have good vibes. If you're doing great. I just wanted to have fun. 
You are silly, but I love that about you. But you can call any time. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> we should have you and Noah come on one night. And oh, you guys, I think that would be really fun. Yeah, reading, we'll, yeah, reading we'll do that. Lines. You and Noah get to take my story in. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's very cool. That's very cool. I think we could do that. But you got to bring rope, apparently. That's the new thing. You have to bring rope with you. That's it. But I, do, I will tell you, I think that I think that meeting somebody and being attracted to them physically is really easy. But that goes away really fast. Yes. Looks are the first thing to go, I think. Not only that, but you can only look at somebody for so long. And then when, if they have just... have more to offer, right. If there's nothing mm -hmm. going on, I can't see. Now, Blake is the total best. <laughs> <laughs> Back he's on not Blake. only pretty, but he's oh, fun to talk must love you. But I do. I love this guy. Love him. So cute. Noah, Noah goes, you know, you better knock it off with this Blake. <laughs> That's what he tells me. I talk about you at home. I swear to God. Rachel wants to have a hurricane party. You having one, Amy? Rachel, why don't you here. come here and meet Blake and you can go on a hurricane party. <laughs> Blake will convert. She says she needs a Jewish man. He'll convert. I did. Oh, is oh, he? You, you are not. I know it. I know a Jewish guy from a mile away. So he's see, he's Jewish. interested because he just yelled oh, that he's Jewish. So God. he's ready. You are the two ready, ready and ripe for the taking. <laughs> I'm done. My life is good now. I'm Poor done. Noah. Are you gonna, I can Noah, you've been replaced. Noah, Wait. if you're listening, uh oh. Sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go visit him in a little while. Um, but anyway, that is, we have one minute left. Can you believe it? All right, this is the deal. Be kind to each other. Yes, patient. Don't panic. Be very patient. Everybody's in the same boat, and literally, we could be. We in may boats. be in a boat. Right. So, and my kids said, go to Dick's. We need to get a raft. I'm like, please. Just stop. remember community, community, neighborly, help you know, each other. God loves those who help themselves and each other. Remember, remember that. your pets, too. Yes, Take care your of your furry safe. friends. And we'll see you hopefully in a week. Have a good week and be safe. Yes. Happy Labor Day again. Day. You have no idea. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it.